When I was in practice, a 28-year-old mom came in to see me with a very scary, aggressive form of breast cancer. She was a new mom with a wonderful child and husband, and I couldn't save her. Millions of people suffer or die because we're not more rapidly making new medicines for them. Medicine that we've practiced for most of human history has kind of been one size fits all. Precision medicine is being able to be much more precise about the diagnosis to make better and more effective medicines. The biology of the body and the biology of disease can to an extent be predicted by the human genome. Increasingly, it's possible for all of us to have our genomes analyzed uh, either in part or in whole. By having their genetic information, they're gonna have a path towards prevention, they're gonna have a path towards understanding which treatments are gonna work for them. It's taking the plethora of knowledge of the medical world and combining all that and saying, this is the perfect treatment for you. It's only that by patients demanding that health improve, that we think the precision medicine vision will actually take place. This is um, a very exciting and different conference. Let's get a group of multidisciplined people together. Who work in everything from genomics, healthcare and policy and technology, academia, venture investors, even the FDA and the regulators. To create some proposed solutions to the barriers we see to precision medicine. Make the prototype as concrete and tangible as possible so that we can actually see what are the, the aspects of the idea that, that work and what are the things that really just don't hold water. You've got tables curated around people's diverse expertise. We are engaged in dialogue, we're generating ideas. Now there clearly have to be incentives for people to buy into this model. We're going to have to think about ways to assure the confidentiality of very sensitive information. It's very much action-oriented. Let's think of solutions. So it's a public awareness, public engagement campaign. We're all here because we are coming from different places and different professional roles. At the end of the day, you actually could say, wow, you know what? We really are a team. You just don't find a group of people like this anywhere else in the world. My ambition here is to create a movement. Becoming a data donor, you become an engaged participant. We're urging the public to mobilize and actually demand access to this data. To make this a reality for each of us tomorrow. We will leave this summit not only with an action plan, we will leave this summit with 170 incredible human beings who will take the messages we've shared and honed back to their day job. And that has enormous value. Now it's time to empower people and empower the patients. If a person is thinking, should I get sequenced? That's empowering for yourself to know about you. We, the individuals, the consumers, have the ability to drive change. Direct your own health. What do you want? What can you do to stay healthy? Genetic information and the utilization of that information as part of clinical care it's already shown benefits many, many times. What would make it so powerful is if, in fact, we didn't make it the exception and we made it the rule. As citizens, we have to rise up. Sharing that information will change the world for all of us. Medical care will be transformed in a truly revolutionary way that we're all waiting for, and the time is now. This should be a start, not a finish. Here's to the future. Thank you.